So long. So this is really kind of an exploratory mission. You deciding to get back into making music. I never stopped. I'm always writing potpourri of music. You know, it's how it is. Relaxed and ready to return. Let's hear it. That is the Michael Jackson we found when we journeyed more than 5,000 miles to this classic old Irish estate outside of Dublin. The Stone Estate is built to rock with a state-of-the-art recording studio. But it is because of the beauty of the emerald landscape why Michael chose to be here. Michael is on the search for fresh sounds and Black Eyed Peas leader Will I Am is the man. Will, you were telling me a little earlier, you got a phone call on the tour bus, right? Mm -hmm. Someone said, Mike's on the phone. I was like, no, come on, stop playing around. Yeah, I didn't know it. I thought somebody was joking. So this is like, uh, this is baby steps of just checking out what, what may be a collaboration or, or, or some work together. Yeah, yes. Why Will? Because I think he's doing wonderful, innovative, positive, great music. I thought it would be interesting to collaborate or just, you know, see how the chemistry works. It'd be wonderful. This is like a dream come true for me, you know. Does he take your advice well? Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we. I, I, it's like, you have to take advice from the king of pop. <laughs> I like to take sounds and put them on the microscope and just talk about how we want to manipulate the character of it. Will brought something new to the table while keeping the classic Michael sound firmly intact. Living off the wall with them kind of streets. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, off the wall, yeah. <laughs> 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 kind of streets, this is crazy. Now, if Michael likes what he hears, he will add his own musical touches. But for now, the two work the board, weaving out a sound tapestry layer by layer. <laughs> we'll pretend we're technically inclined. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you doubt his tech savvy. Michael knows his way around a recording studio <laughs> and <laughs> our new digital camera. That's a beauty. But you can edit it within the camera. Film me. So can you operate it? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Are you a, a technology? We love it. Yeah, I love, love cameras. The and, yeah, love it. It's a beauty. Yeah, that's light. What's the price of this one retail? Six thousand dollars. Wow. But what really impressed Michael? Will's music. What did you think there? Very, very nice groove. Yeah. I like the chords. I like what you did. That's a, that's a club banger. Yeah. What they call that one. Will's beats are infectious, and an enthusiastic Michael could not contain himself. <laughs> Do you see something big with the music that you make again, or getting that groundswell going? doing clubs and intimate things and then getting it bigger and bigger and bigger. Gee, I'm not sure on I that level. I can that for a, for a fan. Go ahead. Big. Something needs to put a jolt back in the music industry. And the only thing that can do that is the jolt itself. The energy that, that, that sparked the imagination of the kids that are, that, me, you know, the, the Justin Timberlakes. We're all products of this. So the only person that could put that joke back in it to that monstrosity of entertainment and, and, and music is the one who created that. Michael, I would love to hear what you thought of Justin Timberlake or something like that, because he's the closest thing to Michael Jackson, I think, today, you know what I mean? I think Justin's doing a wonderful job, as well as Usher, and uh, it's, it's great to see. I'm inspired by what they do, and I'm sure I've inspired them, and it's, uh, it's very nice. It just comes. Songs just kind of create themselves, so you, I don't want to dissect it, really. It just, I let it happen. The band's been waiting a long time for Michael Jackson to arrive. He's just gotten to the World Music Awards. What's going on, my man? As always, every step of the way in London, total chaos. I am two feet behind Michael right now, caught in this chaos. It is amazing. They have been waiting to just catch a glimpse of him. The fans are going crazy out there. They've been out here a while. What does it mean to you? Oh, I'm very honored, and I love them very much. Michael came face to face with his fans. The 
security working overtime in here as Michael Jackson signs autographs for the fans. He cannot get to every one of these. Now, if Michael decides to sign every one of these autographs, this show will never start. What you are seeing cannot come close to what it was like being there at the World Music Awards as Hurricane Michael whipped from the left and then to the right. What does this moment represent to you, Michael, right now? Um, it's a dream come true. When will these people get an album from Michael Jackson, you think? I'm working on it now. Awesome. And chaos inside. Once inside the building, security noticed the second red carpet where people were not as restricted, so they made a quick diversion. This is where it gets crazy. For the first time in years, Michael made a rare appearance at the World Music Awards. Just two days prior, the King of Pop set up a fan frenzy when he arrived in London. King of Pop!